Hello students, I welcome you all. This is Dr. A.Y. Khan from Dharwad. Today, we will be dealing with the chapter Biomolecules. In Biomolecules, we come across concepts related to carbohydrates, amino acids and proteins, nucleic acids, vitamins. First, we will see what are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones or the substances which yield these polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones on hydrolysis. Amino acids. Amino acids are the organic compounds containing amino group and carboxylic acid groups. Proteins are nothing but the polymers of alpha amino acids. Vitamins. Vitamins are a vital substances that are required for normal growth of an organism. Then we will see what we mean by nucleic acids. Nucleus contains a hereditary material which is called as chromosome. Chromosome consists of proteins and another biomolecule which is called as nucleic acids. Let us solve a question. Identify the one which does not belong to the class to which the other three belong. Option A glucose, option B fructose, option C galactose and option D maltose. Out of the four, glucose, fructose and galactose are all monosaccharides whereas maltose is a disaccharide. Okay? It contains two monosaccharide units and two monosaccharide units are alpha D glucose units only. Hence, glucose, fructose and galactose are monosaccharide, they belong to one class. Maltose is a disaccharide or an, you can also refer it as an oligosaccharide. So, option D is the right answer. Reducing and non-reducing sugars. Sugars which reduce tolerance reagent and failing solutions are referred to be as reducing sugars. The condition for a sugar to be reducing is the carbonyl functional should be free. All the monosaccharides are reducing sugars. In the case of disaccharides, if the carbonyl functional that is aldehyde group, if it is a aldose, ketonic group, if it is a ketose should not be involved in glycosidic linkage then only that sugar can reduce tolerance reagent or failing solution then we can refer that sugar as a reducing sugar. Let us take an example. This is structure of maltose. Maltose is made up of two alpha D glucose units. Alpha D glucose units in alpha D glucose units the aldehyde functional group will be in C1 carbon atom. If you look at the linkage the linkage between one glucose and another glucose is 1,4 linkage that is first carbon of one glucose is involved in glycosidic linkage whereas for the another glucose unit the fourth carbon is involved hence the first carbon in another glucose is free that is this aldehyde is free to react hence maltose is a reducing sugar. If we take an example of sucrose in sucrose the linkage is 1,2 linkage that is first carbon of glucose and second carbon of fructose are involved in glycosidic linkage. In the case of glucose, first carbon bears that aldehyde group. In the case of fructose, second carbon bears that ketonic group. Both the aldehyde group and ketonic group are involved in glycosidic linkage, hence they are not free to react. Hence, sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. An example of disaccharide made up of two units of the same monosaccharide unit is option A maltose, option B sucrose, option C lactose and D is none of the above. Maltose is made up of two glucose units, it is a disaccharide of glucose. 
sucrose is a disaccharide of glucose and fructose whereas lactose is a disaccharide of galactose and glucose the question is an example of disaccharide made up of two units of the same monosaccharide so maltose it is made up of two glucose units hence option a is the right answer The color of the precipitate formed when a reducing sugar is heated with failing solution is option A brown option B red option C green option D blue Reducing sugars are the sugars that reduce Tollens reagent and failing solution when a reducing sugar is treated with tollens reagent or failing solution sugar gets oxidized to corresponding acid and tollens reagent and the failing solution gets reduced failing solution gets reduced to a red precipitate of cuprous oxide hence so the answer for our question is option b red water insoluble component of starch is option a cellulose option b amylose option c amylopectin and d none of the above starch is a polymer of alpha d glucose it consists of two components one is amylose and another one is amylopectin amylose is a linear polymer of alpha d glucose whereas amylopectin is a branched polymer amylose is water soluble component and amylopectin is the water insoluble component the question is water insoluble component of starch hence option c is the right answer The peptide bonds formed when amino acids unite with each other to form a long chain. Option A, NH NH CO. Option B, CO O NH. Option C, NH CO. Option D, NH CO CO. when two amino acids combine between the two amino acids a peptide bond will be present a peptide bond is nothing but an amide bond present between the two amino acid which is formed by loss of water molecule the general formula of amino acids amino acids can be represented as nh2 we'll take another amino acid nh2 will write it as nhh CH R C double bond O O H. When these two amino acids combine, loss of water molecule takes place, and the resulting compound will be NH two CH R C double bond O NH CH C double bond O O H and R. This bond is referred as the peptide bond. 
and we need to find what type of a bond is present. So the bond is NHC double bond. Hence, option C is the right answer. Amino acids are usually in the form of zuterion. This means that it consists of option A, basic NH3 plus and acidic COO minus group. Option B, basic NH2 and acidic COOH group. Option C, no acidic or basic group. And option D, basic COO minus and acidic NH3 group. Zwitter ion is a dipolar ion that carries a positive charge and a negative charge. It can be represented as This is Zwitter ion that carries a negative charge as well as a positive charge here. Whenever it is treated with an acid this CHO minus group accepts a proton, hence it acts as a base. Whenever it is treated with a base, this H plus releases a proton and it acts as an acid. CO minus can accept a proton, hence it can act as a base. NH3 plus can donate a proton, hence it can act as an acid. So, so the basic group will be CO minus and acidic group will be NH3 plus. Hence, option D is the right answer. In acidic solution, glycine exists as option A, NH2CH2COH, option B, NH2CH2CO minus, option C, NH3 plus CH2CO minus, option D, NH3 plus CH2COH. Amino acids generally exist in the Zwitter ion form. For a glycine, zwitter ion can be written as NH3 plus CH2 CO minus. Zwitter ion is a dipolar ion. When this is treated with an acidic solution, that is when it is treated with acid or in presence of acidic solution, CO minus group gets protonated. Hence, it results in the formation of NH3 plus CH2 COOH. So, this is how glycine exists in its acidic form. Hence, option D is the right answer. Which of the following is not a fat soluble vitamin? Option A, vitamin B complex. Option B, vitamin D. Option C, vitamin E. Option D, vitamin A. Vitamins are the vital organic compounds that are required for normal growth of an organism. Vitamins can be classified based on their solubility into fat soluble as well as water soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K are fat soluble vitamins whereas vitamin B complex as well as vitamin C are water soluble vitamins. So the question is which of the following is not a fat soluble vitamin? Vitamin B complex is water soluble hence option A is the right answer.
nucleic acids the nucleotides are linked by option a ester linkage option b amide linkage option c peptide linkage and option d glycosidic linkage Glycosidic linkage is the linkage that is present between the two monosaccharide units. Peptide or amide linkage is a linkage that is present between the amino acids. Between the nucleotides, a phosphodiester linkage will be present. Hence, option A, ester linkage is the right answer. The basic unit not present in DNA is option A uracil, option B adenine, option C cytosine, option D guanine. <music> DNA consists of four nitrogenous bases. One is adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. It doesn't contain uracil, but uracil is present in RNA. So the basic unit not present in DNA is uracil, hence option A is the right answer. 